<laughs> All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there uh, for another edition of Esper Duplicate. If you've uh, seen the other times that we've played this deck, we still haven't lost with Esper Duplicate yet, so I, I am trying to jinx it as much as I can here. Um, so we've played two leagues with it. We're 10-0 so far, but we haven't played probably the two best decks of the format. We have not played any Soul Tie. Sorry, I'll pet you. Or and we haven't played any Wilderness Reclamation deck, um, and I think, you know, like those could be some tough matchups. So we'll see how it goes. We have played like Control and Aggro. We've been doing those too. Like we've been playing against like you know Esper Control and Mono Red and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see how we do. Basically, we're just a bunch of like annoying creatures, a bunch of creatures like that are two for ones for the most part. Um, and just kind of annoy the opponent and kind of hit them with a bunch of like one and two power things and eventually kill them. You know, that's kind of like what our, our deck does. Um, hey, Zexion. And yeah, it's just kind of a pile of pile of cards like that, you know? Uh, you know, like while our opponents like has to deal with our like freebooter and Thief of Sanity and, and everything, and then, then our Seraph takes over or whatever. The Tithe Taker just annoys them. And, you know, it's just kind of like a... It's like death by a thousand paper cuts kind of deck. So let's see how it goes. All right, Hawkeye's here for the 15 0. Esper duplicate. We got Spanky3535 getting that Harry's code in there. Thank you so much, Spanky. So, yeah. Using my referral link and coupon code, you can get a starter set um, of Harry's. Get your, get your razor and aftershave for only three bucks. That's it. I think with tax, it may be like, you know, three dollars and 20 cents. But just three dollars. And you also get half price off for ordering it. Um, the incentive I'm giving you is you get half price off of your next donation deck. So Spanky, same thing. If you'd like a donation deck at any time, you can get one for just 10 bucks. Just let me know. So that's, wait, that was Harry's numbers. Actually, wait, I need to update my my number here. And if we get 15 people that sign up for Harry's, we'll be doing another 12-hour uh, stream to celebrate that. So that's number five now. So we're at five out of 15. It's not second blue, but it's not going to be, it's not going to the bottom. We need the land. Our curve's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Softball Wolf? Magic's been really good today, yeah. Certainly having a good time. Oh yeah, Mono Blue, that's the deck. We got paired against Mono Blue like three times last time, last league. And we ended up winning each time. This, you know, this particular hand's not a very good hand against Mono Blue, but that's right, I remember that now. The last league, three of our five, five, three of our five matches were Mono Blue. So I think I'd rather this be Mono Blue than Drake's. Which it could still be either one. Yeah, $3 for a razor or shaving cream. Very good deal. Yeah, that's right. And it was two Mono Reds as well. That's right, yeah. So we played, yeah, good point. So we played mono blue three times and mono red twice. I like Hosta Shaker in the matchup, but we don't have a fourth land. resolves they got like the wizard to tap it no just straight up resolved oh now they're gonna their turn tap it Ooh. 
Please don't have another land. Please no land. Please no land. Whew. No land. No Vember. I'm gonna take this thing. Gist of G's. Good game, Hawkeye. Um. Alright, how was I sideboarding before? Because it was working out. I brought in Mortifies and Duresses. And I don't think I brought in Negates. But then I was thinking maybe I should bring in Negate. Reaper, Squire, Lazav all come out. I think I trim a couple duplicates. I think this is what I was doing, I think. But I probably want these negates. Maybe I want negates over more duplicates. Diva Sandy is not like spectacular. Now, duplicates good in the matchup, though. May I trim two thief? Let's try this. There's a lot of fours. But all the fours are really good. Yeah, thief stops air units. We're we're pretty good at stopping air units. We got our own other air units and stuff. Yeah, I didn't... Yeah. Yeah, don't need the sample script, of course. What do you think about the 36 Planeswalkers in the next expansion? It looks pretty exciting. I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I don't think, like... I don't think it's gonna be, like... Uh, 36... You know, really good Planeswalkers and everything. I think that they're gonna be... A lot of... Planeswalk, you know, I could see planeswalkers with just like one ability, or planeswalkers with no abilities, not no abilities, sorry, no plus abilities, or just like you know, just a minus ability. We need to stop drawing lands. We need to get more spells. Someone just double lava coiled your lich. Yeah, lich isn't. Lich will survive there. So, is Deputy. Or Seraph of the Scale is a better play here. No, they, there's not enough slots for the Maldi Rares or Mythics. They're going to have to be common or uncommon. They're not going to have 36 Rares and Mythics. They're all Planeswalkers, I don't think. I mean, I guess it'd just be all of the rares. Yeah, deputy means we don't get merfolked. I think I'm gonna go Seraph. I'm gonna go Seraph. I think it's gonna be easier to like. I'm I'm basically using my mana. And, you know, being able to double spell next turn. Like, if we can draw a negate, be able to have that plus deputy. Or something else like that. A tithe taker.
All right, then we're taking lethal in the air. All right, they got game two. I think I want these negates. Hmm. I have already a lot of duresses too. Don't need to have that for our entire deck. Oh, right, Lyra. Right, Lyra's good in this matchup. Right, I should be bringing in the two Lyras. Those, those would come in over the quasi duplicates. Or the negates. I don't remember the game count of Lich. I mean, yeah, it was one it was one two both time for match count. I don't remember game count. Gave him a little bit more time to draw good cards for us to duress. And played around that card. Spell Pierce. So they have double Essence Capture. Double Essence Capture? Come on. That's a great hand for the opponent. You know, it's just seven spells that are all pretty good. All right, so we'll be able to mortify their end step. They could double spell pierce us. Then we resolve. Oh yeah, they just storm tamer it? Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now I negate... Mm, that's why I should have just negated to begin with. Kind of lucky there. By drawing that land. Yeah, I should have negated, then I can choop. I I should have negated let the last turn and get the negate spell pierced. I got pretty lucky there. I don't in my mind for some reason I was thinking they still had three mana that they could spell pierce plus the like I, I forgot that the that they tapped a mana for um 
All right, I'm gonna use this because of Spell Pierce. But I forgot that they tapped a mana. Um, like, you know, for the uh, Storm Tamer. Softball Wolf, thanks for checking in and everything. No, I don't think so, Hop Goblin. Alright, and we choopin'. Chupa duplicate. Sounds like something you'll order at Taco Bell. The Chupa duplicate. The Choop Scoop. Get that one at Baskin and Robbins. Yeah, can I get a triple choops a triple choop scoop? Alright, we are at one and oh. The triple choop scoop. Got that all done. Hmm. All right, we're on the play. Let's just draw one land here. Let's get Thief of Sanity on the play, and then copy Thief of Sanity, then copy Thief of Sanity. We have so many thieves. There we go. Good start, and our opponent playing Island. Thief of Sanity is usually good against Island. Go, Thief, go! I want to keep on drawing lands, because, you know, with Thief, you just want a lot of land drops. So let's keep drawing lands. Burtley, man, it's going really good. Yeah, Captain Marvel movie was, was pretty awesome. Oh, put that back up. Hawkeye's not in my lap now. Yeah, I recommend seeing the Captain Marvel movie. All right, so this is my first time playing a, a Nexus deck with against a or a Wilderness Reclamation deck, I guess. My first time playing against that with this deck. Why do you think March is better than Heroic? Um, I want to take that. I don't want that to get shuffled back in. Heroic has been bonkers, like, like 100% of the time I've played slash seen it played, and March is about a 20%er. As you are pretty good at this game, I'll take your word for it, but the for the sake of learning, can you explain a bit? So, Heroic Reinforcements is the kind of card that you play to end the game immediately. Um, it's it's very good when backed when it backs up a an aggressive start. That's that's when uh, heroic reinforcements is at its best. I think with with pairing with with Amara and Tristani, those cards make March of the Multitudes very good. So I have to take the inside, otherwise. Um. I have to take the inside, otherwise they get to you know the insight like goes to their their bottom line there, or like it goes to their graveyard where they get to have the insight to cast. So we are flipping there as Kanta quite early. All 
I want to try to be able to cast Nexus of Fate next turn, I think. I think that's the plan, is next turn I cast Nexus of Fate. Yeah, Reclamation's going to give me more mana, which I think is important. But we'll see if we get another turn. We may not get another turn, honestly. Because their deck's a lot smaller now that our Thieves have been hitting them. Nexus has been kind of the card that we've been wanting to hit with our Thieves the whole time. So they only have three Nexuses that they're working with. Yeah, but this certainly could be over. I would honestly be a little surprised if we get another turn with all the cards our opponent has. Alright, a second Reclamation means this has to be over, right? Correct, the Nexus will, will shuffle back into our opponent's library. Uh, if we cast the Nexus. It doesn't shuffle into our library. You can't have... You cannot have your opponent's cards in your library ever. Like, there's... That's just... That can't happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Nexus Reclamation. I don't think it's I don't think it's even possible for our opponent to brick now, right? Like with with double reclamation where they get three of these land things a turn. How's my sideboard looking for this matchup? Four Duress, two Disdainful Stroke, three Negate, two Mortify. It's okay. The problem is they, they don't have very many cards left. We, we milled over a bunch of bad cards for them. Unfortunately, our, our Thieves did not do a very good job of, of hits. Uh, Hydroid Crisis is their win con. No, it, it's not possible to get another turn now for how many cards they get to draw there. Alright, so... Stroke, negate, nexus, or like, yeah, bring in all this stuff. Stroke, negate, uh, duress, um, all of those things. Um, Choop, Reaper, Lazav. Oh, yeah, we have Kite Sail Freebooters, too. That's a good card. And Tithe Taker, that's a good card. And we have Deputy Detention. That's a good card, too. We have a lot of good cards here. Now, Squire. Seraph? Seraph just attacks hard, I guess. Should I play Hostage Taker instead of Seraph? I already have Deputy. Yes, yeah, so we have Deputy and Hostage Taker for more removal. It seems like we have a lot of good stuff. You know, just even like Freebooter or copy that with like Quasi Duplicate and stuff. Yeah, they could Ooze, they could Frilled Mystic. May need to like, you know, Hostage Taker or Frilled Mystic. That'd be cool. 
Blah. Blah. I. They will not have non-creature spells in their hand anymore. Alright, I'm keeping the thief and hoping to draw a blue source after that. Alright, so growth spiral, ghost growth spiral, opt. I'm gonna take this opt. Try to make it harder for them to find green mana. And then take spiral spiral. Yeah, they're at no green currently. We're at no blue. Hopefully we draw blue. Tilt. Slow death of some one twos. Hooray! Four duress, four freebooter. It's pretty nice. All right, they found green. Canopy? I could take Canopy to be able to kill another Reclamation. Or I could just take Search. Search means I get to play I get to play that plus Thief, because remember we don't actually need blue mana for Search. I'm gonna go Canopy. Now after this, I don't need to tap out anymore. It's not a very good auto tap for them. What else can you give us, opponent? What else you got? Ooh, negate. I'll take that one. Thank you. Nexus, I'll take that. All right, that's my turn. Like, thanks for the counter magic. You know, if if they play whatever enchantment of wilderness reclamation, it'll just, you know, can't be it. All right, we didn't see them play creatures there, but I could certainly see them playing creatures like the game three. I like keeping the hostage takers instead of seraphs. We can even like, <clears throat> if we have a free booter on something that that's not that important, we can even like hostage take our own free booter and recast it and try again. 
later on. Alright, let's get a bunch of duresses and freebooters and Thieva Sanities and Negates. I think it's a mulligan. I need some more lands. Yeah, it should be only legal to play Reclamation if you steal it. Only if you get it with the Thieves' Sanity. Just putting in your deck doesn't make a whole lot of sense then. Come on, lands. Where are you at, lands? There we go. Good job, deck. Get that third land drop. Ooh, no reclamation. I. What if they say no? Ah. Uh. Like, like, what if they don't fight and then we just take it with, like, a deputy? Did not get a land drop. Would have much rather drawn a land than a deputy here. Hooray! That into play tapped. And I'm just taking the nexuses, yeah, like out of their deck. Even though I'm, I'm you know, not gonna really cast this, it's at least out of their deck. No, no one more egos. We kind of have, we, we have a lot of stuff for their deck. Basically, all of our cards are, you know, useful. Our worst cards are deputy and hostage taker, but those cards are certainly useful. Remember, if they have a counter spell, it costs more mana because of the Tithe Taker. Alright, I'm going to try this opt in and look for a, a land drop. After seeing their hand. I don't think Ego on the board is necessary, honestly. I think that's kind of overkill. Wow. Pretty surprised they didn't just kill the Freebooter and get their insight back. And then also, you know, like keep the Crowl Harpooner alive to be able to block. Honestly, pretty surprised about that. I think I just take the negate. Right? Like, I don't care if they actually cast this nexus here. And just... The nexus just cycles.
you know, of course, we could counter the negate. Or, sorry, we could counter a nexus. If they just feel like casting the nexus, we could counter it. But then we're, we're not attacking them for lethal. Oh, that's true. Maybe I should just negate the chemisters. I don't know. I feel like it's better to negate something more important. All right, so if I Mortify, I have all my mana available next turn. But that uses my Mortify. Nice. All right, I'm going to Deputy so I can keep Mortify up. Mortify and Negate. Well, they have a Nexus plus their draw step. I don't really mind not negating the the Chemistress Insight. We don't we don't have to try to win like the very next turn with that. Now here we have Lethal, so we can just counter it because we have Lethal. Okay. 2-0. So first time playing against a Wilderness Reclamation deck, those post-board games looked real good for us. Looked real good for us. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they can do there. Like, that's that's got to be pretty tough for them. But yeah, it certainly feels good beating Nexus that bad. Oh, uh, why can't we go first? Guild gate. Gates are going to be tough. Go, Thief of Sandy, go. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for the bits. I do appreciate that. Cheers. Man. I want to play Freebooter. Yeah, I guess we Freebooter. But it's just kind of like taking a whole turn off just to free boot. It's not spectacular. All right, not gonna do it. I can have another sweeper here, I suppose. Haha, more thieves. We got a new sub for Metal Monkey and Jeff getting hyped for our 12 hour stream with even some more bits. Y'all, let's get some hype in the channel. Not only for Metal Monkey with that tier one sub, but then also Jeff keeping that hype going. There we go. We got eight subs today. We get two more. We'll be cracking a pack open. Guild Summit was certainly the worst card that we could see. Um, on our side. Ugh. Nothing to take. I wanted to try to take a sweeper. Man, Guild Summit was such a good draw for them. 
Yeah. Thanks, Jeff, for saving those biddies for today. Uh, Queen Nissa says, hey, super new to MTG. Have I tried an Azorius deck yet? Haven't played... No, I, I don't usually play too many Azorius decks, but... Ooh. But we do have one uh, coming up next. We got Azorius Midrange, as you can tell on the schedule. We got a donation deck for that. I'm not sure if I want to quasi-duplicate this deputy to take the guild summit. I guess let's see what we have. Hmm. I probably should cast the quasi-duplicate here. Should I deputy away the guild summit, or should I try to freeboot them again with all these unknown cards and see if they have any sweepers? I guess I should probably freeboot and try to try to take another sweeper. Ugh. No sweepers. Spurs! With a donation for Simic Elves. Alright. Any slot on Sunday. I can do that. Simic Elves on Sunday. Ugh. Those are some good cards. Alright, let me write that down. Simic Elves on Sunday. All right, save the deck. So we're good there. Here's the deck list if you want to check it out yourself. All right, well, we'll draw some cards at least, but... That's tough. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. All right, so Simic Elves Sunday. Got it. Whew. So I don't really want to put Nexus of Fate back in their deck. I, I don't think we can really win from here anyway. Yeah, the Guild Summit, and then, yeah, right after we whipped with the Freebooter, and then the next turn they drew um, Nexus plus Insight, which then gave them an explosion. Yeah, those those whipped Freebooters, and then, like, their next draws being awesome. Pretty tough. Guess I'm casting this thing. And this thing. And this one. Problem is I would not be surprised if we take if we don't take another turn now. Like I don't I don't think we're taking another turn. So yeah, Burley Man, so yeah, using my referral link to Harry's and also that coupon code TodStevensMTG allows you to get their starter set for only three bucks. Just three dollars. Um, it's usually it's usually thirteen dollars. You get five dollars off for signing up for a sixteen cards left. Five dollars off for signing up for a subscription, which is cancelable any any time. And then also five dollars off for using my coupon code as well. So do all those. You can get uh, get a nice Harry starter kit for only three dollars. Real good value there. And then also you can get a donation deck for only ten bucks if you sign up for that. You get a half price on a donation deck. That's what I'm doing for further in incentives. So all those sweepers are are pretty rough for us. 
I liked it better when my blue green Nexus opponent wasn't playing sweepers. Yeah, I think that game was. I need to end that game. So yeah, we ended that. I mean, I probably need to keep Midnight Reaper because of these sweepers. Let's try this. Yeah, it was I, I could tell it was kinda of starting to lag with how, how that game was going, how it was like really late and stuff and um into the game and and all the all the mana, all the permanents on the battlefield and so just exiting out of that game made that better. Hmm. Well, you just got a mulligan. I have no clock here. Can we draw some lands, please? That's not a land. Can we get lucky and draw two lands, and then three lands, and then a fourth land? Man, guess not. Okay. That's a start. Oh, Schmucky signed up and it never went through. Alright, maybe you didn't... Like, I think it only goes through if you use the referral link. So, uh, send me a whisper of, if you can, just send me a whisper of your uh, confirmation number. Or, like, your order number. And then I'll, I'll tell my representative and I should be able to get credit and it'll all be good. their third gates ablaze couldn't they just wait one turn so we could untap with these negates huh I don't know yet yeah, I know that happened to somebody else too like the link didn't work for some reason so I don't know weird hey but Jeff's still keeping the hype going even if we're not doing as well this game. Thank you, Jeff. So yeah, Schmuck, just uh just Try to PM me your order number if you can if you can find your order number, and then I will. I'll get that fixed. Well, that's probably game. I was a little slow, you know, like missing my second land drop. We did hit a couple lands after that, but still a little slow. Our thief was not a good thief. beating six card explosion 
Dang. So finally picked up our first loss with Esper Duplicate. The first game looked pretty good for us, but our opponent had a couple awesome top decks, especially that Guild Summit. It was really that, that Guild Summit won our opponents that game. We've been having a lot of mana troubles, though. Had a few mulligans here recently. Okay. Rematch. We'll see if they're the creature version or if they're the Nexus version. Our deck does win really slowly though, so like those those sweepers are pretty rough for us. Oh come on. That Lava Coil was not a good start for us. Just don't, I don't have anything to do. Um, sure, I guess. Hostage Taker is not a May. Like, I, I have to take, like, to cast a host like, when you play the Hostage Taker, I don't have a choice there. Quasi Duplicate on Midnight Reaper is actually pretty nice. So, you know, even though it's a token, it'll still help us draw a lot more cards if they do find a sweeper. Okay, no sweeper. So, we don't know their deck as well, but I think I'm just going to sideboard the same way. That I did against the other deck, and we'll still keep uh, the hostage takers for creatures. Honestly, maybe just, just yeah, I'm just going to play the Chupacabras, actually. I think Chupacabras are going to be better at, like, killing rams and stuff. Okay, let me check this out. Not great. Yeah, Deputy strong against multiple Colossus, that's true. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, I didn't know it did that. Um Yeah, I guess so if I use MTG Arena Pro, it'll just have like my my deck records up there. I don't know very much about, you know, like I haven't used that site. Yeah, so it's, uh, so kitties, you get five dollars off if you sign up for. Let's do this. Should I save negate? 
I should probably save negate here. You get five dollars off if you sign up for a subscription, which is can't, which you can cancel anytime, just normal. So that will make it from from thirteen dollars to eight dollars, and then using the coupon code um, makes it from eight dollars to three dollars, because you save five dollars off on the coupon code as well. So signing, yep. So you can get it. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to negate for the summit. Because, you know, a guild summit could be a disaster. Uh, it's free shipping in the U.S., Canada, and U.K. So, yeah, so awesome, awesome deal. And... Then you know you can get a donation deck for half price if you sign up. Also, if you ever if you ever want to do that, that's another incentive that I'm throwing out there. Even so, yeah, just getting signing up for a Harry's Razor certainly recommend it. It is a yeah, it is a really good deal. And you know, like the the subscription is cancelable anytime. Like I have mentioned before, so yeah, normal price is is twenty dollars. Uh, to have your deck played on stream, and so um, doing that for half half price off if you sign up. The crisis was just a zero zero, so it died. Yeah. Carnage Tyrant, huh? It's not one you see very often. Oh. Deck used. I need to look at my. I didn't didn't need to tap a blue source, so now I can't quasi duplicate and have negate available. Yeah, the Crimson Coven Gatsby stream is on Saturday. We'll be doing another 12-hour stream to celebrate that. Ooh, maybe we could have a a match against them. Well, Go with the insanity. Already gone through a couple of gates of blaze. Already gone through two out of sixteen cards. Please don't have another one. One thief down. So, Krasis right now would be for six. Yeah, let's fire it off. Fire it off. Their crisis is bigger. So 
So I don't really have great options here. Uh, really don't like PMs when I'm trying to stream, but I have to answer. They have Ram and Knight of Autumn and Harpooner. The tie clips, I, I don't know exactly. All my tie clips are like pretty old. I've gotten years ago, uh, like just different department stores and stuff. Um, trying to draw it into something. We know more about their deck now. We didn't see very much of their deck before, so we know that they're very creature heavy with all, you know these these hydro crises, tyrant, ram, harpooner. So, if they're going to be that creature heavy I guess I want all these hot these hostage takers. Like, do I need like a mortal sun? I don't know. Like all of these duresses, freebooters, negates. Not looking so good. Like even like the freebooters are just gonna get swept up with those sweepers. Maybe that. But same kind of with deputy of detention. So I guess I'm like back on Seraph. Off. No, I, I need. I kind of need deputy to kill the. Do a guild summits. I'm thinking probably freebooter out. Hmm. Real bad against harpooner too. Yeah, I guess I want deputy to fight guild summit. But it's just such a losing battle. Because, you know, like, they just kill my deputy and then my deputy doesn't attack at all. Hmm. Maybe not Disdainful Stroke. Thief is good. You really want a lot of lands with thief. So if we're going to be in on in on a thief, might as well be in on a thief. We're going to do the thing, might as well do the thing. These, if Thief's going to survive, we're going to want the lands. Alright, Seraph's a good backup. Opponent doesn't have red mana yet. Still no red. 
No. All right, five turn clock. So I do have like the death touch available on Seraph, which will maybe scare my opponent from attacking. You never know. Did not scare them from attacking. I was hoping it would. Come on. been a frustrating like the last four games the last match and this match these gates decks just very frustrating so I'll save hostage taker for crisis deputy for Something else. Our keep, our keep hasn't been bad though. We have needed all these lands. We've done good at drawing spells. Our opponents just had like the, the answer though for whatever we have. Really couldn't get that like previously when I had the thief. Like, what if I quasi-duplicate my hostage taker and just take the hostage taker? All right, maybe they're out of removal. There's a million cards. on this battlefield and the negate no sweeper no sweeper or you know if I if I drew a land I was just going to be casting the gate Colossus and of course they had a sweeper so we have a negate hopefully no other sweeper Starting to not like gates. 
These two games have been so frustrating. I just always have infinite mana and infinite cards. It's not good when you have a bunch of one and two power creatures. Move to end step, discard guild summit. It's a pretty nice life. All right, so I guess we're not good against gates, I guess. They found a lot of their sweepers. You know, they had three gates of blaze there in their top, like, 20 cards. Still really like our deck. I don't think there's really much to do about the gates matchup besides, like, what we already have. Just, you know, when they the Gates does their thing, they just go way over the top. They just beat mid-range decks like ours pretty bad. So that's unfortunate. Our main way to win is to go under them with Thief of Sanity, which we tried, but they had removal, and so we didn't get there. But, oh well. All right, so that is um, Esper Duplicate, and... Yeah, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching.